So, Jimmy. <laughs> gotta talk money. Yes. Let's talk about other people's pockets. Money. One thing I love to do is talk about other people's pockets. Actually, I don't really like to talk about other people's <laughs> pockets, but I love keeping up with other people's pockets. Mm-hmm. Because we are now in the time of the year where we're in the season where certain quarterbacks need to start getting paid. Mm-hmm. So, Josh Allen, who was part of the um, 2018 draft, mm-hmm. got his bread. Six-year, $258 million extension worth a maximum of $288 million. He got paid first out of that class. We got two quarterbacks. For some reason, they ain't got paid in that draft. <laughs> Jimmy. Mm-hmm. We have Baker Mayfield. And Lamar Jackson, the number one pick and the number 32 pick. Mm-hmm. The that's, bookends. That's, that's, that's funny. Yeah, it the is. bookends <laughs> of that draft All right. have not gotten their paychecks yet. And so, of course, we're asking the question of are they worth the money? Should they get the extension, the big extension, the super paycheck, blah, blah, blah. And I'm curious to know from you, after the Adam Schefter article that just came out, I think it was this morning. Mm hmm. About Lamar Jackson's focus on the season at quarterback rather than his contract extension, which he can sign this this year, mm-hmm. and then and he doesn't have an agent, so he's doing the negotiations because he's right. focused on football. He ain't focused on negotiations. And then you've got Baker Mayfield, the number one pick, mm-hmm. who still hasn't got his extension from the Browns. So, Jimmy, mm-hmm. I'm asking you this question: Who do you think is going to get paid first, mm-hmm. Baker Mayfield? Or Lamar Jackson, I think it's going to be Baker Mayfield, um, which is not to necessarily say that he's more deserving. I think they're both equally deserving of getting that big contract that they've worked for. I mean, I think Baker's been through a lot in order to get this with his tenure with the Browns, um, and I think that Lamar Jackson, from the number thirty-two pick, who people weren't expecting this to become an MVP and to win something gaudy like what seventy-five percent of your games, they're both equally deserving. But I think that because of timing, Baker Mayfield is going to be the quarterback to get paid first because, like you just said, if Lamar sticks to his word as his own agent and says and means it that he will not negotiate his contract during the season because he wants to focus just on the football aspect of the season. We know Baker Mayfield does not have that exact same belief that at any point that you want to negotiate my 180 to 200 to whatever plus million dollar contract during the season, I can be in the middle of a hike. I can drop back. Owner wants to talk to me right now. We're talking right now. I'm leaving. You know what I'm <laughs> walking off the we'll field. figure it out later. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Yeah. But no. So, yeah. So that's, that's what I think. So I think because of timing, I think that he will – he will get his during the season. And I think that he's going to be cheaper, actually. You know, it's funny. I bet this is a big part of the reason why the Browns run the ball more because they know that for every touchdown pass that he throws, it's probably an extra two or three million in guaranteed money or something like that that they're going to have to pay Baker. So I think that he'll be cheaper. And I think that they're going to want to do it now. They don't want Lamar Jackson to get his that will probably exceed Josh Allen's because then that's even more that they're going to probably have to pay Baker. So they're going to be more motivated to negotiate and get the contract done now as well and plus you know with Baker you kind of have all the leverage because when was the last time Cleveland had a quarterback like him you know in Cleveland fans don't say Derek Anderson because that was for one season who? lightning in a bottle doesn't count right you remember that right, right. 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 I'm so, saying, like, so no, who? I mean, even Bernie Kosar like he's probably a better quarterback than Bernie was at the 70s or the 80s totally different game back then so he may very well have been the he may be the best quarterback this franchise has ever had, unless I'm missing some. Well, what Otto Graham or somebody like that back in the fifties, whatever. But I'm talking about modern era <laughs> of of play. When, when, I don't think I right. can recall when there the were Browns televisions. Yes, at, right. <laughs> Hate you. <laughs> right. That, that weren't black and white. Right. Yeah, yeah. I can't think of a quarterback that that they've had that was this even polarizing since mm-hmm. Tim Couch was drafted in 99. Mm-hmm. Besides that, it's just been cycle after right, cycle. Right. Just, I mean, Johnny Manziel, but he was drafted late in the first. He was projected mm-hmm. first number one pick. Mm-hmm. Baker wasn't projected, but it was a shocker that he was taken, and that's what makes mm-hmm. him even more polarizing. Tim Couch was a projected number one pick. Got projected, got picked number one on an expansion team, so you expect him to get destroyed, similar to Derek Carr getting destroyed, uh, I mean, David Carr getting uh-huh. destroyed by the Houston Texans mm-hmm. as an expansion player. So, I don't know. I, I don't, I, I'm I'm in your camp as well. I think that Baker's going to get paid first. Uh, Baker does have an agent where Lamar doesn't. Um, 
And in this situation, I think Lamar needs an agent. I mean, when you when you get to this level of contract, just get a damn agent. Let somebody else talk up to them and let them tell your agent how much they don't want to pay you instead well, of you hearing it directly. Well, I think a big part of the reason why is that when you look at this move by Lamar, it's not have hired a professional agent. Clearly what he wants is control. Control in the sense of any of the discussions that are had because – I mean, I know you're supposed to trust your agent and they negotiate on your behalf, but he wants to know everything that is being said. The things that teams would typically say to an agent or maybe in such a way to where if the player heard it, that would be somewhat upsetting or they would dispute that. He wants every word that has anything to do with his contract. He wants to he and his mama want to be there for that. So it's about control. So therefore, to give that control over to an agent, it doesn't seem like right now with the way he approaches this that he wants to do that. And I get that. But at the same time. When you're talking about this level of money, yeah, have somebody else. I mean, because let's think about it. When, when when it comes to having an agent or having an attorney look over contracts yeah, and yeah. stuff, I've had people. I know people that have gone through the contract stuff just in general. Every job tries to find a way to pay you as little as they possibly can, mm-hmm. and they know if you're talented, they know they have to pay a certain amount. And so they're going to try to argue in there if they can just get a little bit less, mm-hmm. so they can use money for other things. Granted, this is a salary cap league, so I understand that that is a concern for the team. Mm-hmm. We're going to pay you all this money. We ain't going to be paying nobody else around you for mm-hmm. the most part. But Lamar out here trying to be more control. I can understand Lamar being controlling if there was no chance. Without- if he won the MVP, mm-hmm. I get him doing his own contract uh, negotiations. Mm-hmm. You're in MVP, buddy. Here, no, okay. no Here, reason for you to expect anything less than what Josh Allen got. Here's my question for you. All right, so I know the Ravens have been ravaged by injuries on the offensive side. Ravaged. Um, but, all right, but despite that, we know that the Ravens have one of the more talented rosters in the NFL, yep. and we definitely know the Browns have one of the top three most talented rosters in the NFL. Which of these two quarterbacks do you think would be most likely to give a sort of Tom Brady-esque haircut and take less so that they can keep more of this talent around them? If you want me to be honest, it would be Baker Mayfield. You got uh-huh. Kareem Hunt, Nick Chubb, and then all those wide receivers, and then Miles Garrett and mm-hmm. that defensive setup, mm-hmm. and then add maybe a piece, piece two on the offensive line yeah. that you got to focus on. Mm-hmm. I could see Baker taking a haircut just to make sure the studs at the skills position mm-hmm. stick around. And he can afford to because, I mean, he's got that in, with progressive. Like He's got a new progressive he's got, he's got commercial, commercial every single Ooh, week. He's got a commercial with everybody. Which is funny because Lamar Jackson – I don't ever really see him on any commercials, and I'm not sure exactly why that He's is. He's not personable enough. That, you got to have personality mm. to do commercials. You got to uh-huh. be able to act. And like I said, Baker's really good with acting with his play actions and his play <laughs> fakes. Right. That he's tricking. Like, there's a video. I t- retweeted it earlier this week. I can't, can't think of the writer's name off the top of my head again. My apologies for this. But they tweeted a video of their excitement of Baker Mayfield when it comes to play fakes. And this was what was cool about it is that they freeze-framed it, pointed things out. Mm. Baker did a play-action of a uh, handoff to Chubb, and he went a direction, the defense followed it. The next Later on in the game, they did it as a fake. And when he did the fake, the linebacker had Baker sacked. He stood there as close as we stood to each other right now, <laughs> literally, with mm. Baker's back turned. He second-guessed where the ball was, froze in space, and Baker rolled out, and he was like, shoot, wow. he's got the ball. And he turned to run after him. It was <laughs> um, it was chef's, it's, it's chef's kiss. It's what uh-huh. you want at your quarterback with fakes. And so he's really good at doing stuff like that. And so I get that for him, the way this team is set up and stacked, it might be in his best interest to do a Tom Brady type extension, mm-hmm. so that you can keep both Kareem Hunt and Chubb. Because I think Kareem Hunt will take a take a pay cut as well after everything is going down. Mm-hmm. He's trying to let the the let everything the um the tide and everything sink more, and mm-hmm. people not pay attention to the bad situation he had in Kansas City. Mm-hmm. He would take a cut. You got to pay Chubby. Yeah, and they have, and, right? <laughs> right, right. Yeah. You pay Chubby, and then you've got those receivers. And that's where you start to get a little, mm-hmm. okay, what do we do with OBJ when his contract extension comes up? Landry kind of mm-hmm. deserves a little bit more money, too. Mm-hmm. And Joku, you got to find a way to hang on to him. Mm-hmm. I think that he's solid at tight end. And then Hooper, they just added him. You know what I'm saying? So they've got so many things that they have to think about around Baker. I know Baker recognizes that. The best teams have the best players on the team, too. Yes. You can't just try to make lemons out of lemonade with everybody. Some of them are lying, and that's not going to make lemonade. <laughs> right. So I can see Baker taking the haircut of anybody, but for Lamar, he's going to be a damn agent, man. I'm just going to keep saying that over and over. Get an agent. <laughs> I, I 
I applauded Richard Sermon when he did his uh-huh. his deal with no agent and got the incentive deal and basically said, I'm going to prove that I'm still worth it, made the All-Pro and showed that he was worth it. Mm-hmm. Then he messed up his Achilles. Uh, <laughs> the problem you run into with that is Richard Sherman already had years right. of proof that he mm-hmm. deserved extra money. Now, Lamar's a quarterback. Now, it seems like a big part of – it seems like you're worried about Lamar. You're worried about the fact that he's doing these negotiations by himself or he and his mom, that he's going to leave, well, not so much leave money on the table, but there's not going to be money in there that's supposed to be because they're going to kind of bamboozle him in a sense. That's what my fear is, and it's, this has nothing to do with intelligence. It has everything to right. do with expertise and verbiage that right. you have in those contracts. Lamar, you just saw five players have Achilles or, or ACL tears on your offense. You've got a, your rookie wide receiver that's out with the had growing surgery. You've got a lot of people not on the field. Mm-hmm. That is concerning for me because guess what this does now? It is the Lamar Jackson show. Mm-hmm. Lamar Jackson's going to do things, but Lamar Jackson got to do everything right now. So, you know, part of what he should do, he should get practical about this. He should say, all right, so for most NFL teams, they are usually off the day after they play. And I know you got rehab, you need rest, you need days off, stuff like that. But he needs to pick like a day of the week, maybe – I don't know what their you know, what their practice schedule is, film sessions, whatever that is, but he needs to find like maybe a two or three block of time, two or three hour block of time every week and just make that for focusing on anything to do with his contract, negotiations. Hey, a, a organization, if you want to talk to me, let's talk during this time so that we can try to hash this out, work on this, and then I can get back to my number one job. But it's so much work reading through all that legal True. verbiage in those contracts, True. and that's why I'm saying, God, dude, just get an agent. You're you're too high profile to not have an agent at that. If he wasn't a quarterback, I wouldn't say this. He's a quarterback, and he's doing a. And you can tell that he does a lot of film study, and he does research, and he actually pays attention, and he he's focused. Mm-hmm. Dog, get an agent. <laughs> so-